this is probably the best hack so far, but it's I, I think it's just weird that some some people just don't get it. I don't think they've used a proper beveling tool before, so anyway, so I'm I'm just gonna show you the best hack for now. So you gotta take one of these guys and something like that and something like that. And what you'll do here is We'll take this one and that one for vector edges and once again use rounder and then you can see that this is of course not what you want but what we'll do is we'll take these guys and we'll simply go like that and stretch them. Now that that is done we'll merge the polygons do the same thing here just take dash and bang and we could actually merge first, I guess. Yeah, could do that. And then we could. It doesn't really matter. Well, yes, it does because that becomes screwed up. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so we'll um, take this guy and go like that and merge polygons. So that's currently the way to go about it. And then you want to continue on, what you'll do is delete, take these guys and uh, thicken that. And that's this tool is actually damn nice and likely uh, thicken tool. I, I really like it. I think that the algorithm for normal and contour is actually very good. So Anyway, if you want to bevel these guys uh, in the proper way, then what you should do is buy Lightweight Cab. It will fix that stuff for you. Okay, guess I went a bit far in this area, but anyways. So that's a hack that sometimes will work. And lightweight, and I think maybe that's the best way to go about it. But anyway, um, over at the Facebook forums, I, I'm, I'm just amazed <laughs> by by people not knowing how good bevel tools work. It's uh, and, and I mean. It's just strange to me that some people uh, comment on it when they have no idea how a tool works in another program. Uh, but anyways, this is the way to do it in Lightweb 11 and beyond. And, and please do consider getting Lightweb Cat for this kind of stuff.